Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dual boot Windows 7 and Ubuntu 12.04. So let's begin. To start, we need to create a partition if you don't have one already. Just right click Computer, then click on Manage, and here click on Disk Management. I have a 60 gig hard drive I'm going to partition this drive if you have a partition already then you can skip this right click on the blue line here and then click on shrink volume now it here it tells me the available shrink space is 28,576 megs which is 28 gigs and a half more or less I'm not gonna use 28 gigs I'm going to use 25, so I'm going to delete that and select 25,000 megs. Perfect. And now click on shrink. Perfect. I have 24.4 gigs. Now I need to format this, so I'm going to right click and then click on new simple volume. Click next to the wizard here. and I'm gonna leave this uh, as is and then click on next here you can select a different drive letter but I'm gonna use the default drive letter and then click on next in the uh, volume label you can leave it as is or you can change it I'm gonna rename mine to Ubuntu and then click on next finish the wizard perfect my drive is healthy now we're ready to install Ubuntu on the second partition now close the uh, computer management window I'm gonna close this too now you need to download Ubuntu Windows installer the link is in the description box below here it is it'll take you here so click on download Windows installer and then save the file I already downloaded mine so I'm gonna cancel out of here close here and then run my Windows installer here it is now if you're using Windows 7 or Vista make sure you right click sorry right click and then run as administrator click yes to the warning here now here in the installation drive now you can select the partition uh, we created instead of using drive C I'm going to select drive E which is 24 gigs then the uh, installation size I'm going to make this around 7 gigs. You can make it smaller. Uh, the smaller you, you, you make the installation size, the less program it'll install. Now, in the desktop environment, you can select different uh, Ubuntu. I'm going to leave it default and just uh, install Ubuntu. In the uh, language drop down, you can select a different language if you like. I'm going to leave it default. And now here, uh, type your username and password no caps on the username before you click on install make sure you have everything in place the installation drive the installation size the uh, desktop environment and the language once you have all that then feel free to click on install this might take a little while so I'm going to fast forward this but I'm gonna leave it there so you can see the installation process perfect reboot click finish now in this uh, uh, 12.04 uh, 
I didn't see much uh, installation process this was really quick the same thing I saw you saw so it's not like I edited anything type in the uh, password you set up when you uh, install the uh, Ubuntu and that's it you have your uh, Ubuntu desktop running and this is really great it works like a software because my time is limited I have to show you also how to remove it just in case you get tired of it right so I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, shut down and then click on restart perfect now if you're planning on keeping Ubuntu you'll you you will always get this window here if you want to boot from Windows 7 or Ubuntu you can choose your you know what you want to boot from in this case I'm going to choose Windows 7 because we're going to delete Ubuntu from Windows 7 to delete Ubuntu from from Windows 7 is similar to uh, deleting a program just click on start and then click on control panel then go to uninstall a program and here select Ubuntu and click uninstall or change click uninstall perfect now click on finish and Ubuntu is gone now to reclaim your partition just right click computer click on manage then go to disk management and here right click the uh, partition we created for Ubuntu and then click on delete volume click yes to the warning and right click your uh, C drive and then click on extend volume click next make sure that the uh, the partition is selected and then click next and then click finish that's it thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you